right now at 5. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. The president's response to retaliation for a deadly drone attack. No Americans were harmed in last night's attack by the Iranian regime. Tonight, a big day of developments in the crisis with Iran. And President Trump addresses the nation for the first time since Iran launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles at two military bases in Iraq, housing U.S. forces. And as you just heard, thankfully, no U.S. troops were harmed in the strike. They came in direct response to the killing of Iran's top general, Qasem Soleimani. CBS horse Natalie Brand is live in Washington tonight with the very latest from there. Natalie? And Diane, Jim, based on the president's address today and a statement late last night from Iran's foreign minister, both sides are signaling a desire to de-escalate, even as questions remain about the larger strategy ahead. World. The United States is ready to embrace peace with all who seek it. President Trump says Iran appears to be standing down hours after the nation's missile attack on two bases in Iraq where American and coalition troops are stationed. We suffered no casualties. All of our soldiers are safe. A defense official tells CBS News satellite and intelligence info provided hours of warning for troops to shelter in bunkers as the U.S. braced for retaliation over its killing of Iran's top military commander. Soleimani's hands were drenched in both American and Iranian blood. The president, who campaigned on a promise to end U.S. involvement in the Middle East, warned about U.S. strength amid the tensions. Our missiles are big, powerful, accurate, lethal and fast. The fact that we have this great military and equipment, however, does not mean we have to use it. President Trump said the U.S. will put additional punishing sanctions on Iran, and he called on allies to help negotiate a new nuclear deal. We must all work together toward making a deal with Iran that makes the world a safer and more peaceful place. The top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee urged the president to choose diplomacy over escalation. I think it's as close to uh, the possibility uh, of uh, seeking a different path with Iran than the president will get in his words. Wednesday, administration officials provided briefings for all members of Congress on the strike that killed General Soleimani. Democrats have called for more transparency about what comes next. And a number of Democratic lawmakers briefed today and one Republican senator said that they were not satisfied with the information presented, also have questions about whether the threat is actually contained. Meanwhile, a number of Republican lawmakers, including Senator Marco Rubio, continue to support the administration's decision to strike Soleimani. Senator Rubio called today's briefing compelling, and Senator Rick Scott, reacting to the statement earlier today, called it it's strong and measured and said on Twitter, we all want peace. Diane? All right, Natalie, thanks. There